something. Where the hell are we going? Can't believe I forgot already. Now then, I will go over our plans once more. As I stated earlier, the Japanese branch will become its own entity, separate from Bethel. And in order to save Tokyo, we are going to take God's throne. If there's anything you aren't clear on, now would be the time to ask. Regarding the War of the Gods, the Imperium, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. Ever since time out of mind, the gods would do battle for the right to rule the world. Before the creator reigned supreme, the throne belonged to Baal, god of the harvest. And even before that, it was held by Ra, the sun god. Every god who assumes the throne obtains its vast power, enough to reshape the world however they see fit. As such, many a god has fallen in pursuit of that power. Regarding the war of the gods, the Imperium, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. The throne of creation lies at the pinnacle of Empyrean heaven, or simply the Empyrean, as it has become known. That is where the creator would be now, were he not ousted by Lucifer, as was claimed. Considering our fusion into a Nahobino, the claim is likely valid. Only Nahobino are allowed in the Empyrean's sacred space. As such, none have entered thus far. But you, however, can. Do not fear, I won't let you go it alone. I intend to become a Nahobino as well. Regarding the war of the gods, the Imperium, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. The throne of creation exists to prove one's dominion over the Earth. Whoever assumes the throne may determine the world's laws and inner workings, much like how the Creator established his own order. Before the Creator, many other gods fought viciously over the throne, and hence the right to rule the world. And in order to save Tokyo, we must do the same. Regarding the war of the gods, the Imperium, the throne... Anahobino is a god in the fullest, or truest sense. Our original form, if you will. In ancient times, we were all Nahobino. But when the Creator took the throne, he demanded there be no other gods before him, and diabolized us all. He accomplished this by spiriting our knowledge away. Without the knowledge needed to shape a functioning world, we ceased to be divine, and were left to contend with our fallen nature. Our knowledge was sealed within the Garden of Eden. Mortals soon ate of its fruit, binding all knowledge to their souls, and all who came after. Ever since the fall of man, demons have vied to steal the souls of humankind and restore their former selves. But they were doomed to fail. Long it was futile to seek out our knowledge and reclaim our former glory. But with Armageddon fulfilled, the rules have yet again changed. Aogami's true name is Susano. As proto-fiend, he was created to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. I myself provided the template. And as I've said before, I am Sukoyomi of the Amatsukami. It is my personal mission to become a Nahobino and rescue Tokyo from the mouth of danger. But to do that, I require your aid. Understood. So will he be the one to create the world, being that only the Nahobino can do it? It could very well end up being him. 
But what if I were to say that you, Yuzuru Atsuta, also have that potential? I do. After my time spent observing you, I am all but certain you are the one holding my knowledge. What? Yes. If you so choose, you too can harness the power of a Nahobino and recreate the world. Will you not do so in service of your home? But... that would mean... I'm the same as him? If I really do have that power, enough to save Tokyo, I'll do it. Hmm. Your resolve is admirable. Excellent. We now have two Nahobino on our side. Atsuda and you. From here, we strike at Bethel headquarters, then make our way to the Imperium post-haste. Hey, uh, guys? You think I could be a Nahubino too? My condolences, Nazai. But you do not appear to bear the knowledge of Anamatsukami. Oh. Don't be disheartened. I sense yet another's knowledge resting within you. No way! However, only its owner can identify it. So I suggest you stay on guard. A demon may be lying in wait for you. With that said, I must begin investigating a way to reach the Imperium. I'm fairly certain the secret lies in Ueno, given the density of Bethel's security there. So, I will concentrate our branch's efforts on that. I will contact you the moment I turn up a solid answer. Until then, please bear with me. What do you think I should do now? I can't decide anything on my own. I guess I really do need Master Abdiel. Uh, say, uh, do you know where she is? Oh, all right. Let's go see. Mm, let's go see. Like, I'm supposed to come with you. I ain't supposed to come with you. You want to go tickle her fancy? You go by yourself. Master Abdiel, are you all right? I lost to the Japanese branch. It no longer matters what happens to me. But that's not true. You're not done yet, Master Abdiel. You saw what happened. Even an Archangel is no match for a Nahobino. Then maybe you just have to become a Nahobino too. I'll find the human who has your knowledge, and I'll bring them to you. That won't be necessary. Uh, but I... They're already here. Huh? It is you, Ichiro Dazai. You are my knowledge. Me? I'm your knowledge? Wait, that means... You can use me to become a Nahobino! The power of the Nahobino is forbidden. As the Archangel, I must not defy the condemnation. But if you became a Nahobino, then you could... I like how he just standing in the back just like, yeah. <laughs> This really don't have nothing to do with me. And, and he walks away just like he should. Hear my voice and take heed of Abdiel. Uh, who is that? If your prayer is indeed for harmony, you must bring that about yourself.
I know that ain't who the hell I think it is. If that's that girl, what was her name? Sasuino? I, I, I can't think of her name. You know, that she died kind of early on in the. She alive, ain't this something? Now here I go thinking I had to replay the game just to save her life. She been alive this whole time. I don't think you know what now that I think about it I don't think she's alive I think just the way Tokyo was kind of like was recreated I think she kind of got recreated too Oh God. Take a good look. Tokyo is fading like the setting sun. Its time is almost up. Before it's too late, I want you to reach the Imperium and recreate the world. You risked your life for me and Sahori without even a moment's hesitation. To us, you're a true savior, and in every sense of the word. What power I have shall be yours, and together we can forge a new future. Until then, will you let me fight at your side? That's all I ask of you. Sure, we need that power. Then let us go forward together. We both know God's miracle has dissipated. Tokyo and everyone in it will vanish without a trace. If this stirs your heart even a little, make for the throne and create a new world. One according to your vision. And to foster that, I'll escort you to Dot, where the path to the Empyrean lies. A new realm of Dot lies before us, one that leads to the Empyrean. The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity, long before the first human being. The entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it. 
and so the path remains closed. There are three keys in total. It used to be that Bethel guarded them for safekeeping. But now, the branches that possess them think only of their own gain. So the first thing we need to do is get those keys ourselves. Perhaps a protofiend could detect the energy of divine instruments such as these. I am indeed picking up sources of incredible power. Three in total. Not to mention hordes of demons around them. Oh yeah, we prepare for that. I say we'd better hurry up and find them. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahobino aspirants are after the keys themselves. So keep an eye out. That won't do. We don't seem to have any openings at the moment. I'll wait here until you're ready. I literally kind of skip all these down laws because this ain't nothing for them. It's just, it's just power upgrades. I don't care what they got to yes. say to each other. Stay alert. So I gotta get rid of one. Oh damn. So who's my weakest party member? Because everybody's good on my team. Do I have, let's see. Who's the least defensive character I have? Probably Cert. Cert is probably like the weakest one that I have right now. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of Cert. In rear. Damn, you know what? Let, let me go to the World of Shadows and I'm going to take Welcome. Fenrir out the compendium. Let's see. Are you registered? Registering all of them. Fenrir got that drained ice though. Damn. I think I'll be all right though, which is, he might be the weakest one now that I think about it. Just defensively, he's like the, yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of Kenki. I, I can get him from the compendium later if I need to. Sure, I got the, I got the marker for it. The, the Panagia Talisman. Allies of the Panagia race can now use their minds to eternal prayer. Fully restores HP, cure status, allies, and revives them. Okay. Hmm. Hey, it's you! Mm -hmm. Did something happen? You were acting strangely the last time we met. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you could say that. But whatever. I see you've got a different girl with you this time. What's up with that? As if a goddess like her could ever replace me. <laughs> because you and I, we're... Ugh, never mind. Forget it. <sighs> Anyways, count me in. Someone's gotta keep you out of trouble, right? <laughs> totally. Save this. What's her moves? Oh, she, she got a light.
Ooh, and she got a null dark. I need that. I'm just keep who I got right now. So all the keys are around here, so we're gonna have to just make ways. I'd like to ask you something. As a Nahobino, we can reach the Empyrean and seat ourselves upon the throne. Doing so will allow you to orchestrate the laws of the universe. In other words, you can manifest an entirely new world. So, should we reach the throne? Potential order humans. I don't know if this is a good ending, neutral ending, or like bad ending. something inside me is driving me forward somehow. It's not the same as the responsibilities that a proto fiend feels upon creation either. This is something that developed much later. It almost feels like it's come from a place of higher power than Bethel. Ah, my apologies for speaking so as always, I know my purpose is to lend you my strength so you can carry out your will. I want to ensure that you create your own destiny without a single regret. Yeah, cool. So, I think we saved before then. Oh, all three of them are out here. Shit. I, I don't care about them doing things. I'm going straight for them keys. First key. Pass these up because they're not even gonna fight me at this point. Here you go. Hey, hey, hey! This looks like the territory of the Greek demons, huh? <laughs> yup, must be. Gotta say though, not the biggest fan of those guys. It's like they think they're better than everyone else. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh! But their leader, Zeus, is kind of a scoundrel. I can kind of relate to that. Just a little bit. Hey, you better not lose. Greek territory. 